Hello everyone, I am Dr. Deepa. Today we are here to learn about the muscle levator palpebrae superioris. The levator palpebrae superioris is the important muscle of the orbit. We study the muscle under its attachments, the nerve supply and the actions in this video for today. The word levator palpebrae superioris itself says it is the muscle of the orbit which brings about the elevation of the palpebrae that is the eyelid. So this is the muscle which mainly brings about the elevation of the upper eyelid. This is the section visualizing the muscles of the orbit where we can make out the levator palpebrae superioris along with the rest of the extraocular muscles surrounding the eyeball over here. Now here comes the levator palpebrae superioris which lies along the uppermost part of the orbital cavity. Moving on to the attachments of the levator palpebrae superioris, this muscle is the triangular sheet of muscle which originates from the lesser wing of the spinoid bone. So the origin of this muscle is from the undersurface of the lesser wing of the spinoid along with the attachment from the common tendinous ring. So the common tendinous ring plus along with the common tendinous ring the lesser wing of the spinoid. The lesser wing of the spinoid, the undersurface of the lesser wing of the spinoid gives the attachment of the muscle levator palpebrae spinoid levator palpebrae superioris muscle so the origin of this muscle begins as a narrow tendon this muscle from its point of origin is directed straight forward as it runs forward the muscle becomes more broad and fleshy and it is seen to reach the, it is seen to reach the uppermost part. When we trace the muscle in front, this muscle seems to end by forming the aponeurosis, the muscle. When we trace the muscle anteriorly, it ends. The insertion of this muscle is in the form of the aponeurosis by dividing into three lamellae. So, towards the insertion, this muscle ends by dividing into the three lamellae. So, this is how the muscle is arranged. This muscle tends to lie above the superior oblique muscle, above the superior oblique muscle as seen over here. When we talk about the insertion of this muscle, when we talk about the insertion of this muscle, as I have told, from its point of origin, towards the origin, the muscle is tendinous. It is in the form of the tendon and as it runs forward, it becomes broad and fleshy and it, the insertion of this muscle is in the form of the three lamellae which are arranged in the form of the upper middle the upper middle and the inferior lamellae so the arrangement of the muscle towards the insertion is in the form of the superior middle and the inferior lamellae so what is the fate of insertion of these lamellae towards the insertion as i have told the superior lamellae, the superior lamellae crosses the septum which is called as the orbital septum. The superior lamellae tends to cross the septum which is present along the upper eyelid that is the orbital septum. The superior lamellae crosses the orbital septum and it tends to get inserted onto the skin of the upper eyelid. So, the insertion of the superior lamellae is over the skin of the upper eyelid. It is over the skin of the upper eyelid. So, the muscle 
the superior lamellae fibers are merged are seen to merge with the muscle that is the orbicularis oculi so this is about the fate of the superior lamellae the intermediate lamellae the middle lamellae is seen to make up a separate set of muscle which is called as the muscle superior tarsus so this middle lamellae makes up the superior tarsus muscle superior tarsus superior tarsus superior tarsal muscle which tends to get attached over the superior tarsus of the upper eyelid so, which tends to get attached over the superior tarsus present on the upper eyelid so this is about the insertion of the intermediate lamellae of the intermediate lamellae of the levator palpebrae superioris so moving on to the third muscle that is third fibers that is the lower most fibers the fibers of the inferior lamellae the fibers of the inferior lamellae ends by getting inserted onto the superior fornix upper fornix here so this is about the insertion of the muscle levator palpebrae superioris so this is about the attachment of the muscle levator palpebrae superioris the origin of the muscle lps is from the lesser wing of the sphenoid the origin is from the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone along with the common tendinous ring along with the common tendinous ring from this point of origin the muscle is directed straight forward becomes broad and fleshy and it is seen to divide into three lamellae that is the superior middle and the inferior lamellae the superior lamellae crosses the orbital septum merges with the fibers of the orbicularis oculi and tend to get inserted onto the skin of the upper eyelid the intermediate lamellae makes up the muscle called as superior tarsal and which is attached to the superior tarsus over here the lower fibers that makes making up the inferior lamellae get tends to get inserted onto the superior fornix or the upper fornix of the upper fornix of the conjunctiva so this is about the attachment of the muscle levator palpebrae superioris so in this view we can make out the muscle levator palpebrae superioris where we can see the arrangement of the muscle above the eyeball this levator palpebrae superioris is located above the superior rectus as we can see here and towards its insertion as i have already told the superior fibers that is the fibers of the upper lamellae reach the upper eyelid the middle fibers reach the superior tarsal plate making up the muscle superior tarsus and the lower fibers merge with the fornix of the upper eyelid so this is about the muscle seen here this is the diagrammatic way where we can make out the entire muscle that is the lps muscle from the point of its origin directed straight forward above the superior rectus muscle we can see the muscle splitting to make up the lamellae tend to get inserted onto the respective aspect respective site of insertion we can make out the arrangement of the muscle from the superior view and its relation with that of the nerve the cis levator palpebrae superioris is related above with the nerve that is the frontal nerve so the frontal nerve is related above the levator palpebrae superioris when we talk about the nerve supply of this muscle this muscle is supplied by the upper ramus of the oculomotor nerve the nerve supply of the muscle is by the oculomotor nerve that is the superior ramus of the oculomotor nerve so it is supplied by the third cranial nerve the superior ramus superior ramus of or the upper ramus of the oculomotor nerve next moving on to the action of the muscle of the levator palpebrae superioris as i said it elevates the upper eyelid so the muscle is mainly brings bringing about the elevation of the upper eyelid 
So this is all about the muscle levator palpebris superioris. So we have studied about the attachments of the muscle. We have studied about the nerve supply, the action in this video. This is the view where we can make out the relation of the levator palpebris superioris with that of the oblique muscle and the superior rectus muscle seen here. So, the levator palpebris superior is seen in the upper part. Beneath that lies the attachment or the muscle related. It is related to the muscle superior rectus. Medially, the muscle is related to the superior oblique muscle as well. This is the atlas view from the superior aspect showing the levator well muscle and its relation with that of the nerves and vessels, the levator palpebris superioris, which is related to the frontal nerve and the vessels along its upper surface, which is seen over here. So, this is all about the muscle levator palpebris superioris. Thank you.